Although our channel is dedicated to everything about Panama, we took a trip from Panama, about two and a half hours of flight, to the Dominican Republic. And one of the things we wanted to do was just compare our experience there to Panama. And one of the things that is quite useful uh, to know about a country is the prices of things in the supermarkets. So what I've done is put the prices in US dollars there, pesos there uh, on the right, and you can see how much things are. And generally speaking, we were very surprised to find out everything was a lot more expensive and there was a lot less selection. So this video is taken into the largest two supermarket brands in Dominican Republic. Uh, you just saw there quite a delicious smoked chicken actually. Um, and you can see these are the places with the most selection. And for example, that seven up, Diet 7 up there, it's not always in stock. At the moment, we've not been able to get it for about two weeks. So you have issues with the price if you compare it, for example, to Panama or the United States. And you also have uh, issues in supply. It's not consistent in everything. Uh, another example would be Monster Energy Drink. There's just one green Monster Energy Drink, which you'll see um, is, is not consistently available. And obviously there are some interesting other products that are unique to the Caribbean islands. It's always great to be able to try new things in different countries. Uh, going back to the negatives, I would say you have to be on the lookout and very aware that things aren't past the best before or the use by date. Always check what you buy, you'll be surprised. We, the last thing I think we came across was something frozen, which was from last year that you should have eaten it by. And the, the big supermarkets do not seem to either care or be on top of that. In December 2022, I did the same kind of video about the supermarkets in Panama. And I did get a few people say that I hadn't covered all the basics. Now, this video is gonna get, take you through everything, as you can see from tuna to sardines, to eggs, to chicken, uh, beef, pork, to the fizzy drinks, to the uh, bread, uh, washing up liquid, detergent for clothes, peanuts, chocolates. I'm covering it all in this video, so just feel free to pause it when there's something of interest to you. That's a malted drink. Seen very popular in Dominican Republic and Colombia. Here, this Darito has got Indian Bejuco, which is something new to try, very interesting drink. You'll either love it or hate it, I think. And Bejuco is like a, a plant, a tree, when you split it open, the inside of the trunk has this water with this particular peculiar flavor. And perhaps you could say it's a bit like aniseed. And of course, the currency exchange rates are going to fluctuate, but as a guide, allow about 56 pesos to the dollar. And know that these are the big supermarkets in areas that are tourist free. These are not in the corner shops. These are not in mini supermarkets and they're not in high tourism areas. These are the rates that people are paying who live in the Dominican Republic when they go to a supermarket. In our experience, over several months, we found a very high occurrence of being charged too much at the checkout and the prices on the products not being reflected in what we were being charged. So we made it a habit to always check our receipts. Uh, we always try to, but sometimes we forget. But always in the Dominican Republic especially, we've probably had a fair amount of money being refunded to us by the customer services in those supermarkets. Using debit and credit cards in the Dominican Republic is safest in these large supermarkets. They have a terminal which is facing you and no one else touches your card. In other places, it's really a bit of an adventure to put it mildly. It's always uh, best if you want to use your card to try and use it in the big supermarkets. Low risk and uh, easy to do. So that's sugar cane juice up there. Very nice with a squeeze of lemon in it. And here below, you're gonna see coconuts ready to drink and then open and eat. These were actually better than the ones in the street that the people cycling around were selling. A lot fresher, a lot younger, a lot tastier. Because um, I always try to buy from the people in the street, but for that particular item, I've learned that it's uh, much better to buy them here in Nacional or Jumbo or Bravo 
And speaking of Bravo, as a foreigner, you can get their points card. All you have to do is take your ID to the customer service desk, they'll issue a card for you, and then you can start to collect points, which is basically just money off a future purchase. At the bottom of your till receipt, you'll be shown how many points you've got, which is just money you've got. Once you reach 100 pesos, if I remember correctly, then you can ask for that 100 pesos to be taken off your bill next time you're at the checkout. Apples and pears, they're not grade 1A. They always have a slight imperfection on. You may get some with very few imperfections, but you have to have a good look. They seem to be like a, a B or a second grade, wherever you go. Another thing that happens in the supermarket at the checkout, very likely someone will be trying to pack your bags for you. Now, this is an odd thing culturally for some people and you can just ask them not to pack your bags for you. Some people like it, some people don't, but they will automatically do it unless you ask them not to. Another interesting thing is that people don't block the end of aisles up to the checkout. What they'll do is they'll form a line, but at the end of the aisle, they'll leave a space up to the checkout. So don't make the mistake of seeing a checkout with just one person at it uh, in a line and thinking that there's no queue. There'll be a queue probably back in the aisle there. So it's very considerate and I wish more people would do that around the world in various supermarkets instead of blocking the whole uh, end of the aisle. Dominicans are generally very friendly, very cheerful and uh, also in the supermarkets it's not been unknown that people have come up and said What's that? Pointing at something in our trolley. Just curious what it is, just uh, to, to say what it is. And uh, likewise, feel free to ask anyone now. If you're looking at the tubers, you know, there's not just yucca, there's like cocoa yucca. There's all kinds of tubers and fruits that products that you might want to know how to use. Just ask someone. If you speak Spanish, you'll get on very well with everyone. There are certain Dominicans who, who are learning English, it's less common, but they are very, very keen to practice their English, um, although not as common, but uh, when you find them, they'll probably want to talk English to you a lot. But like I say, people are very cheerful, friendly and helpful if you uh, are polite with them and just ask and uh, show interest. So as I said, feel free to pause the video any moment you want to check a price out and use 56 pesos as the guideline for $1. And coming up shortly, we've got soap, dental floss, toothbrushes, cereal, spices, energy drinks. I've tried to cover everything, even down to the Kit Kats and the Snickers. So stay tuned to find out how much M&Ms cost, Ben and & Jerry's and Skittles and Red Bull. These Danzai drinks, one is Toronja, which is grapefruit, and the other is lemon. Delicious drinks, not carbonated, just delicious, refreshing, sugar-free drinks that you can find here, made by the Coca-Cola company. You could get them in Panama before the pandemic. Since it started and after, they've totally disappeared. So I hope by now this video has given you a gist of what's expensive, what's cheaper, what's available, what's not available, and because I'm trying to show you the full selection of drinks or the full selection of uh, spices or cereals, 
So if it's not here, it's probably not available. The range of things available is not going to amaze you. Um, you know, but on the other hand, my expectations were that I was coming to a Caribbean island and things would be a bit more expensive and a bit more limited selection. However, it is a damn big island. It's a substantial island which produces many of its own products. There's a lot of things which are actually made in the Dominican Republic. So um, it's just interesting. Obviously, they're going to be selling what they what sells. And um, as you can see, here's like three, four different flosses. This is how it is. If you're not from the Central or South American region or the Caribbean, you won't be accustomed to seeing dish soap in this kind of block form which they have in these round containers. Dish soap is available as a liquid here, but they also have these blocks which you rub your sponge, your wet sponge on uh, to do your dishes. But uh, we don't particularly like that because you're kind of transferring dirt back to the soap and then you get this wet kind of pool of water above the soap which perhaps isn't that clean. So uh, it's not something that we've taken to. One thing to note when you see the cereals coming up in a second is the weights. The weights are not probably what you'd expect for the price. They are fairly optimistic prices and very uh, pessimistic weights, let's say. So far, and I've been in a lot of different supermarkets, I've never seen normal Rice Krispies here. Congratulations, you've made it to the end. This is the final section showing you a few of the spices that you can buy in the supermarkets here. 